I think it's rather profound and enlightening. Hard to sum up just yet. I'll need a few minutes. <laughs> Works for me. I just love it. I'm a bit mystified, but I see things in it that I see in other people, in myself. My mind's not fully formed on the ideas or digested at all, but I think there's a lot of truth in it. I'm still a little bit skeptical. <laughs> but it's fascinating. Fascinating. Well, while we were watching the show, like the second episode, um, my, my friend Addie leans over and she's like, and she's like, I've never seen anything like this before. And I think that actually just like describes the show. Like, there's nothing really like this on TV right now. And I think that if it does go on TV, it's going to be just like amazing because everyone's going to be like, ah, I've never seen anything like this before. And then also like, 20 minutes later, she leans over and she's like, imagine if everybody in the world, everybody just watched this show. And then I kind of stopped for a second and started thinking and then realized I was getting distracted from the show because that's like such a crazy thing to think about. Like if everybody did just watch it, like how much stuff would improve and like, yeah. Actually, I turned to Christine after that and I said, I'm completely drained, physically, mentally drained, yeah. So. Peter's blowing my mind again. Yes, um, I, I, I'm mightily intrigued. You know, I, I, I'm sort of on the one hand tempted to want to go find a workshop and find out more. But I guess I also wonder how the experience of encountering this person and this phenomenon uh, has affected Peter as a filmmaker. You know, how much distance he's been able to retain from the subject matter. Um, just as a human being encountering this quite startling phenomenon. It's a lot. It was like very heavy, and um, I think I'd have to re-see it, you know, re-view the uh, show again just to get get it more into my head here. But but it, it's it's good. It's a lot of makes you think a lot. Very thought provoking. Um, I love how it's made. I love watching Peter. Um, his face is so wonderful to look at. Uh, it was just really weird. It seems like pretty uh, powerful stuff, and I can't wait to see the uh, the conclusion. And um, I did mention earlier that I brought a change of underwear. I, I think I may need it. I think this whole night is amazing. Like the show is great, but the whole night together is uh, really well done. I hope it's all true, and I'm gonna start thinking in a very positive way, and um, and hopefully my life will change. <laughs> It's fascinating. I'm just riveted. I heard she dies in the end. <laughs> Easy car chase, though. No, it's overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's, uh, there's so much to think about. It's, uh, it's, uh, we were just discussing, you know, just a, a, a wee little bit of it, and it's, it's kind of overwhelming. We're going to be thinking about this for days and weeks ahead, probably, when we, when we leave here tonight. So there's lots going on. Okay, let's turn it on the interviewer. What do you think? What do I think? I think that um, having an opportunity where everyone can gather and experience something like this would be very beneficial to humankind. I would say it's a good thing. More of it. Yeah.